Good morning. Let me just say, last night brought me back to the newborn days, okay? Benji and I kind of got into it in the middle of the night, 3 a.m. again. Woke up to him obsessively checking the baby monitor. Leah rolled off the crib again and she's at the front door. <laughs> she's at her door knocking while standing. Deep, 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 deep. And she's not crying, she's just like, tick, tick, tick. Sad. So I'm like, honey, she's gonna be fine. She's eventually gonna go back to her bed. The ironic thing is, Judy told me to leave her be, and then Judy goes in her room and sleeps on the floor with her. I was like, that's a complete opposite. Because you're like, I can't sleep. Well, I was gonna go in there and just, so what I did last night, which actually worked, she fell asleep on the floor. I, think that's I went a in there. Big no no. I picked her up, I put her in her crib, and she stayed there. Yeah, because she was already like half asleep. That's didn't yeah. we learn that in sleep training to like never put your kid down half asleep because when they wake up they're like, wait what? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't do sleep training like this. Ben, she's like, if she at least would have slept on the carpet next to her bed, like that would have been better than her sleeping in front of the door. On the tiles. Well, it's not even real tiles, like linoleum. And it's not like her room is cold, right? And plus on top of that, she has the heating humidifier. So anyway, I'm like, she's gonna be fine. And then I could just tell how, how worried Benji was. So I was like, okay. I'm up already because I knew I wouldn't be comfortable. I would love to put a futon on the floor But I just got the comforter downstairs or like the you know the Asian tiger blanket <laughs> I just got that so I could lay on it and I knew it wasn't going to be comfortable because on top of that I'm like over six months pregnant anyway, so I put that down and and she eventually after like an hour <laughs> fell asleep next to me on the floor She didn't want to sleep in her bed and then I try to sneak out at around 7 a.m. 30 minutes later, she comes in her room because I, I knew once she would wake up, she'd be like freaking out. So I left the do her door a little cracked open. I left our door a little cracked open. And there you go. That was our, our morning wake up with Leah um, crying. Also at three in the morning, I ended up ordering. Yeah, I think it's called a quick bumper. It's still ones that you just attach and it's like a universal one because <sighs> that's basically what woke her up it was her Falling rolling off. out of her bed onto comfortable pillows and she's <laughs> like what the <laughs> that was basically it so we hope that this will be the end but i was like Bitch, i'm like she just needs to learn like it's just a learning process and then benji's right i'm the one that goes in and sleeps on on the bed or on her ground. I woke up again looking at the camera when you left because I just thought you were going to go downstairs. So when I saw you walk in and lay down, I'm like, what the heck? I would have hung out with her. Oh, I bet you felt so much better when you saw me lay down with her. Well, I Don't thought, deny. I thought I could finally get some sleep, but it, I still felt it was opposite what you told me to do. Well, it was, but I could tell how butt hurt you were. Okay, don't say butt hurt because that wasn't. And Honey, I was gonna handle it. I was just listening to you and respecting your wishes. Don't go in there. She's gonna be okay. Oh, well, she was gonna She be needs okay. to learn. I'm like, okay, yeah, right. But it, I, I can't like at least be concerned for my baby. Well, that what, was just it. What is there to be concerned that she's like standing up knocking? It's not like <laughs> I was talking to you or the I know, you. but it, I couldn't sleep with you. Just like you phone. couldn't sleep with me. I couldn't sleep with her mm -hmm. the way she was, so. Oh, thank you. Okay, no, no, this one's mine. Oh. I'm going to do yours, so you have two chances. Mm. Dang it. <laughs> wow, actually, I really like the flavor of this one. I saw you put maple too. Maple syrup. Remember Matt was saying he puts oh, maple, maple sugar. sugar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is delicious. I really like this. All right. It's probably the best one I've ever had. Okay, let's try oh, mine. It's so good. The best one she's ever Did had. You add maple to yours as well? Yeah. It's good. Oh. That is That's... game changer. Hmm.
Judy bought this on Amazon last night. I felt it was a little premature to take the gate off, but it has to happen anyways. I just didn't think she would have so many issues because the twins, Juliana, they definitely fell off like once or twice, but that was over the course of the whole time they were there. Leah, every time she's in this, she's falling off. But we have this little pillow right here, of course, that uh, helps with the fall, but um, she literally just falls all the way off. So that's the area where she would stand or sometimes she would lay there and that's where I grabbed her. Hopefully this thing works. I think it'll work out. He'll have a good conscience, honey. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Good girl. I love you. So, I'm using this. I didn't add any sugar because I'm doing the popping bubbles. It's already so sweet and it's coated in this syrup, so I hope this will sweeten it up. Let's just give it a try. <laughs> Not quite hitting it, it just needs more of the syrup. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. We gonna do it again. favorite bubble tea. Good? It could be a little sweeter though. I'm gonna do one more mango one. Good. Did you really good? Oh, I'm so glad. You just didn't get any popa. <laughs> okay, you can't drink all of it because I made a lot. I wanted Mama to try it too. Mm -hmm. I made a taro one if you want to try it. No, I'm full. You want to try the taro one? Mm. Are you good? Mm -hmm. It's kind of watered down. The taro one? Mm -hmm. But oh. it's good, it's good. Okay. Yeah, I just don't like it too sweet. Okay, girls, let's go. I have to help Mama with some paperwork. I can't play this game and make this story. No, you guys are going to bring your stuff. <laughs> I feel for my parents because they're not very tech savvy. And I feel like a lot of people our age can relate to this. It's just a given that you help out your parents when it comes to printers or documents that are online or anything digital. But boy, does it take time. But I was really 
proud of my mom though because she was she's gonna be going on a trip and something happened with her itinerary and usually she's the one like hey can you talk to the agent and figure it out but she did it all on her own she was totally capable so I'm like ma you know how to do it Anyways, I'm just snacking on a cucumber because when I went to Costco, usually we don't buy our veggies at Costco because they have like such huge bolts over there. The only thing we'd, we'd buy is um, spinach. I saw three pack of cucumbers and I'm like, you know what? I should just eat cucumbers. I like cucumbers. And it's been sitting in our fridge for like five days. So I just took one out and I'm just eating it as is. Mom would snack on cucumbers. She would cut it and soak it in salt and vinegar. So I guess kind of like a pickle, but I guess she, she just gets to customize it. Daddy, your helper is coming. Can you put more? Can you say spinach? Say spinach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's plenty. That's actually good. Put these bananas in there, please. Inside here. Good girl. All of it. Come on. Put it in here. Put them all in there. All right, little one. You gotta put this. Thank you so much for your help, Leah. What are you doing? Keep that in there. This is yours right here. Okay. Press the button. Leah, press this button right there. No, this one right here. Hey, what are you doing? How's it taste? <laughs> you know, there's an easier way to do that. There is an easier way. Leah yeah, made it for you. Hey, Leah. Hey, hey, that's my drink. That's Don't yours. You Grab it. Daddy? Yeah, she helped herself to some. <laughs> wow. That's very, very delicious. Good night, Leah. Good night. Juliana, do you remember when you were in your toddler bed? It's time for bed. Do you have any memories of that? Okay. Yeah. I remember my toddler bed. I remember how every time I slept in it, the plushies over here, just, I felt like it was so weird. Cause you had so many stuffed animals. You had the most out of everyone. I was in love with stuffed animals. Mia and Kira, they only liked two certain ones. And I didn't realize till later that they were throwing their stuffed animals into each other's cribs. <laughs> until they fell in between both of them. So they only liked two specific ones in their crib. And Leah's like that too. Leah only likes two stuffed animals and Blanky in hers. She doesn't like sleeping with a pillow. She doesn't like sleeping with a blanket. She just likes her bed. Tonight's the night. For what? For a good sleep for all of us. Well, so. so tonight I put Leah down and I'm feeling so much more confident now now that we have that little barrier thing It was like game changer because this evening right when I put her down Of course she got out of her crib and she went straight to the doors crying and like banging on the door I'm like, oh my gosh, please 
but it didn't last long at all. I think like within 30 seconds, she came back walking to her crib and she laid down and she fell asleep. So it's been, it's been over an hour now and she's still sleeping. She was moving around a little bit, but she's in the crib and thank goodness for that barrier. Cause I'm sure, well, who knows? Like what if it just takes a couple nights for her to get used to it, which is very much the case. I mean, it makes sense, you know? It is a big change. So we'll see. But, oh my gosh, wish us luck. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking, oh, it's gonna be easy, it's gonna be so quick. It's nice to know that she's at least comfortable enough to walk herself back to bed and not bang on the door for or sleep on the floor um, for the first few minutes, so. Yay, okay. Anyway, it's gonna call it a night here and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Night night. Good night, honey. Good night.